what's poppin my name is Richie and today I'm gonna to show you guys five things that you need to try out with the new patch uh, there's a bunch of new cool stuff that we can do now in Fortnite Crypt that was not really possible before and uh, yeah I'll show you a bunch of tricks and tips uh, which how to use these devices and with that being said let's get into it all right guys quick disclaimer before this video starts um, after I record this video um, this just got posted on the Fortnite Creative Discord and it says basically that this little device is back into beta and we cannot use it anymore. So if you go into your devices, you can see that the new device is not here, the save point device. Um, so it will contain a few tips for the device here in this video. Um, sadly, we cannot use it anymore. Like if you have it in your map, you can still use it. But other than that, this device is uh, gone for now and we'll come back probably with the next patch or something. Uh, so just that you guys know why you don't have this device in your inventory or whatever, um, it is gone for uh, back reasons. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so let's start out with the first one. And this is probably one of my favorite things to do now in creative. Uh, experience thing with the crash pads. Uh, they are now the new uh, jump pads in Fortnite Creative. They're super versatile. They have so many options. You can have channels in them. Um, but one thing which I think is very good to know is that zombies and sentries can bounce with them. So you can see here, if we start the game quickly, um, you can see that the sentry is actually interacting with the bounce pad, which is amazing. So there's so many opportunities on what you can do with this. Um, also zombies, same way, they work the same. Um, but for example, what you could do, you could build a giant jumping arena where you put in zombies and let them fight against each other. Okay, actually they don't fight, they just bounce around. But you could, for example, turn this into an aiming arena or maybe just put yourself in there and then jump and shoot people and whatever. So I think the jump pads have quite a few possibilities which you can do with them now. And uh, especially that zombies and sentries interact with them is super nice. Number two on the list is you can actually now get the tires that you can put on the cars uh, from VR in creative. And all you have to do is basically just destroy a bunch of tires and you can see if you're lucky the first time, you get the off-road tires. And the cool thing is they actually also work on the car, so you can just bump them on here. And they do not change the uh, settings that you have in here. So if you go in here, you can see tire selection is still to road tires. So if I click again, uh, they disappear. So that is very important to know. Also, other cool thing that you can do with them is you can put them down and you can jump on them. Um, so your tuning garages can now be even more effective because you now have actual tuning parts. Um, also, on that note, Epic also added, I know a lot of you guys already know this, but I quickly want to put that out for all of the guys who doesn't know. They added a bunch of new items, which were not in a patch initially, uh, because of they removed that you could put um, normal items into, like item granites and stuff like that, or in chests. So they put in all these little items which you can now use. They also put in all the mechanic parts and the uh, enema bones and stuff like that. So I think that's a cool update, uh, which I didn't really tell us, um, but just added recently. So um, yeah, that is something very cool to look forward to. Up next, you can now build extremely easy and efficient elevators with the new car settings that we have. This was actually brought to me by Atsu on Twitter, uh, which is this Japanese creator. And he made this and I was like, this is so five head. And you can see, you can just press a button and you basically get elevated with the drift boards. It is so easy to create efficient elevators now. Uh, I didn't even think of that in the first place, but you know, it is amazing. So what you want to do is you want to start up by placing the sequencer down. So sequencer, there's a few important things in here. The first thing is that you set this up to a very slow tempo. Otherwise the drift board will not float on it. It will just basically rush through it. Um, so I have 10 year tennis, I think fine for that. Also important that you put the length of the zone to like normal, so it's just one, uh, if you want to have it on one. Uh, then put up the height to whatever you want, so I have eight here, but that doesn't really matter, depends on you. Make sure that the pulse direction is to up, so it goes up instead of like sideways or whatever. Uh, that is obviously needed in an elevator. And also the last thing that you need, which is very important, that you set the start sequence when receiving two, you set that to, to your custom channel. So I have 14 here. Then you want to set up the button, which uh, then also you set up to 14, which means if I press this button, this sequencer goes on and then goes up, right? So like this. The last thing that you need to set up is your custom vehicle, which is the drift board in our case. And in here, you also don't need to change a lot. All you have to change here is assign driver when receiving to channel 14. So what all of this will do is basically, if you press this button, this thing activates, it goes up, and you will also get teleported onto the drift board, which then obviously lets you float uh, with the sequencer. Also, Atsu on Twitter also put a few other extra details in there, which I think was amazing. So uh, definitely make sure that you follow him on Twitter. He's an amazing, talented uh, 
Japanese creators. So uh, make sure to leave them a follow. Uh, I think that is amazing. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, coming with the next one. Uh, you can use the safe device for so many things. I know it is an amazing device. And uh, this is like actually game changing for Fortnite Creative. Uh, but an easy way in how to use this device is in combination with the player reference device. So you can actually see what kind of progression the player is currently on. So you don't have to guess like where, where was I or what, what score did I had. And you can even like load old scores and add new scores, which I think is amazing. So you can see right here that I have the uh, player reference device down here. And then I have two buttons for save and load. So for example, if I press save now, uh, my score of zero gets saved. So basically I don't have any score, but I get saved and uh, I could reload this all the time if I want to. So you can see here if I now go here to this little uh, mannequin and kill him I get one score if I kill him again I have two score and you can also see that it shows on my player reference device but now I say okay no I want to go back to zero I just press load here and I'm back to zero so you could use this for example in aim training max where people say like oh no I don't want to save my score here that that was not my perfect score uh, so you can go back here and then like let's say I get three okay so let's kill them three times and uh, after we come to the we can go back here and say like, okay, yeah, now I want to save this one. And now if I press load, you can see it saves. It is three for all the time. The way on how you can use this new save device, which you can certainly not see here, is so amazing. So for those of you who are wondering how this works and how you can make this, it is super simple. All you have to do here is basically uh, get a save point device and make sure that you have auto save to no and auto load to off as well. Um, then you go down here and uh, wait for, like you don't have to put these here. Uh, but then you can go to save player when receiving from, set that to channel 1 or whatever channel you want to use. And then also uh, load player when receiving from, set that to a different channel. So the next thing you need to do is you need to do some kind of trigger device which makes sure that we can actually display this on the uh, player reference device. But because we need to put a channel for like having a load and save, but we have two channels and we only have one slot for registering a player. So what we need to do here is we need to go into a custom trigger and to make sure that we have, um, so these settings are down here. Uh, trigger when receiving from, we need to set that to our save option. And then we need to have a custom channel, which is the same one that we're going to put in there. And we also need um, another channel, which we have the load option. And then also on the same channel that the player reference device is. So and now all we have to do is go into the player reference device, put that channel into register player when receiving from. And every time we press one of these buttons, um, any of the commands from the uh, save point device will get loaded. And that is how you create a very simple and easy uh, player loading and save point. Okay, last but not least, we have my favorite thing to do now in creative. And if you follow me on TikTok or Twitter or whatever, you've probably seen what I'm talking about. The event gallery now has a new option to uh, make it invisible in game. So you can see this is the normal event, right? And if you put it to off, here on the visible in game, you can actually walk through here and uh, kind of get uh, pushed around by just walking through it, which means you can also push or walk through it with cars yourself or helicopters or whatever. So you can see, you can have so much fun with this now. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why I have so much fun with this, but you can create so many cool things with this. And you can see it's very simple to set up. All you have to do is uh, basically just place a bunch of these uh, down. I won't give you one tip because. For whatever reason, these are completely invisible. If you pick them up, you can see I cannot basically see them. So one quick tip which I can give to you is like use some kind of like other device as well to copy with this device. So you can have like always have like um, like a reference point and way to place them. Um, so something like this. Otherwise, it will get a little bit confusing if you just place them like invisible. Uh, but you can see you can have so much fun with that. And um, you can uh, try to break Fortnite if you want to. Okay, and these are my top things that you need to do for Fortnite Creative right now. The newest updates are so fun, like the cars, the helicopter, the safe point device. Really cool updates, and I hope we keep continuing getting like these cool updates. And with that being said, I will see you guys back in my next video. Bye.